Another beautiful day to be a raider. Draped in the silver and black. I represent the shield. I represent the swords. It's that time of night again, Raider Nation. And you come back. Why? Because it's time. Time to bring the What's up, Raider Nation? I am the Commish, coming to you live, as always, from the friendly confines of Hardcore Challenge Lab Studios. Deep behind the enemy line, this is Raider Reactions, immediate post-game reaction, as I do every single damn Raiders game the second the final whistle blows. Good, bad, or ugly, I go live and and lay it out there. Where do we start? Where do we start that this is one of the most unenthusiastic games that I have seen the Silver and Black play in a long time? Especially a meaningful game like this. A whole week of the entire football world talking about you, spotlighting the Silver and Black, and you straight got outplayed, out coached, out hustled, out everything. And the refs didn't fucking help either. But well, I can't even pin that on the refs, although that fucking fumble uh, that they gave away from Jacobs at the beginning of the game was absolutely fucking garbage. In 2020, how can you not, when I'm sitting at home and can see as fucking plain as the fucking nose on my face that it's a fucking fumble that he recovered himself, that even the guys in the booth, the people, how the hell can you get that wrong? How is that even fucking possible in, in today's technology? And they came back quick. Like, up, oh, fumble. Move on. Like, take a fucking second here. Why don't you check every angle? How can I get a better angle at home than the fucking guy in the booth's got? What kind of fucking bullshit is that, man? What kind of horse shit is that? But, I mean, the, we got killed the, by two fucking plays. The pitch and the sweep. Talk about make a fucking adjustment somewhere along the line. I mean, 
We were out of position. I don't know how many times I've seen Jonathan Abram over fucking pursue the the one touchdown. Uh, he completely over pursued and completely missed fucking Burkhead in the fucking backfield. Had him dead to rights and whiffed his ass. Um, I, I seen him out over pursue and miss. I don't know how many fucking tackles today. It's great to be to go in like a fucking goddamn Patriot missile all the time, but with with. You know, reckless abandon, but at some point you got to be able to contain. Also, you're a safety. Hence the fucking term. Hence the name of your fucking position. Safety. You're the safety valve. So when you go in flying like a fucking, doom, and fly right by the guy, who's got your back? Nobody. So he's got to dial that shit back a little bit, man. He's got to dial that shit back. The fucking, the offensive line, the fact we got incognito, Trent Brown's out. The one fumble was a direct relation to the fact you don't have Trent Brown starting. You got Denzel Good on the end. He got burnt on the one play early in the game. That was the, the stripped fumble of Carr. That's not Carr's fault. The people that are blaming Derek Carr for that, I mean, come on. But I, I hope... Uh, there's blame to go around everywhere. You all get a fucking piece. The defensive fucking coaching staff. How the fuck do you not make an adjustment, man? They're throwing two plays at you. You were fucking handing Cam Newton his ass all game long. He looks pedestrian as fuck out there. And you can't stop the screens and the pitches? You know it's coming. Every time. I'm sitting here saying, Damn. Here comes another screen. Here comes another screen. Like... Defense over pursued, bad tackling, uh, the offense, man. This is what I keep talking about. When this team's going to take the next step, your defense makes stops at the beginning of the game. You got to go put points on the board. You got to go put points on the board. You can't come out and have three and out, three and out, and not do anything with it. You can't, you have to put points on on the board early in a game like this and then it just it completely fell apart it got ugly it got something you didn't even want to watch by the end of it it's um it is what it is though i'm not going to make more out of this loss than it is it was a bad game it was a it was just a bad game man it's a bad sunday for raider nation and for the las vegas raiders it was a bad day we, we didn't adjust well didn't adjust on offense. The offense was not explosive at all. Come out without Henry Ruggs. They keyed on Darren Waller. Completely took him out of the game. Stepped up. Nobody else stepped up. Uh, Jacobs did what he could. But without Ruggs, they keyed on Waller. You lost Edwards. And all explosiveness came out of the offense early. And so many chances, man. So many chances to be in this game. And you just can't kick field goals, miss field goals, instead of fucking going for touchdowns. And I don't know who the fuck decided with 11-22 left in the game and you're down by two fucking scores, let's kick a fucking field goal and make it 23-13. to What the? I mean, come on. You, you have had no explosiveness the entire game. You're inside the 10. You've got to go for the touchdown there. You go for the touchdown there, it's a one-score game, and maybe maybe cards fall a little differently after that. Maybe you get a spark. Maybe you get something, but fuck. Just a bad, bad game. But you know what? Three weeks into the season, where did I have us projected? I was projected at 2-1. and one. I thought we were going to lose last week against New Orleans, and we were going to beat the Patriots this week. I think next week is a really big gauge as to where this team's at. All right, we've seen this team come out, win a big one on the road in week one. We've seen this team come out, win one they weren't supposed to in, in the Death Star and the home opener and just shock the world. And then they came out today, and now they're going to make everybody question who really is the Las Vegas Raiders. Well, I think next week you're going to see who this team really is because you got a team, a hot team in the Buffalo Bills that's not going to be a fucking pushover. That's going to be a very interesting game next week and a very good gauge of where this team is at. Either team picked at 2-1 and one after three weeks. How it got there doesn't really matter. 2-1 and one's 2-1. and one. There was no adjustments made on that run defense, man. How do you go screen, pitch, screen, pitch, screen, pitch? and just not make any adjustments. That's as much the coaching staff as it is the players. And I'll say the same thing on offense. I'll say the same thing on offense. At some point you had to mix it up. 
And it just, they started a little bit there at the end of the game on offense, but man, it was way too little too late by that time. By that time, it's way too little too late. So we're going to see what happens. It's, uh, man, I really wanted to see the Raiders show up this week to Foxborough and kick the door of relevance in on the NFL and fucking stake their claim to, hey, we are here and we're one of the teams you need to worry about. And I think... What the Las Vegas Raiders found out is this is a very young team with a lot to build on yet, a lot to build around. And I think you take this loss, and this is a building block. I don't think this... People are going to take this loss and fucking run with it, man, because the score got ugly. 36-20 to doesn't look good. That's the stupid fumble touchdown and the garbage at the end. It doesn't look good. And people are going to take this and run with it. But this is a 2-1 and team with a chance to go 3-1. and Three and one or two and two in the first quarter of an NFL season is a good thing. So I'm not ready to just get blow this loss out of proportion. You can't blow this loss out of proportion. I think that's the key that we have to take away from this week. It was a bad loss, a bad game, a bad performance on offense and defense, and poor adjustments by both sides of the ball on coaching staff and. The fact that we have not beat the fucking Patriots since 2002 is really starting to burn, man. It's starting to burn. Their fan base is full of obnoxious cocksuckers, and I'm getting sick of hearing about it, man. I'm getting sick of hearing about it, and we got to go another fucking stretch of time now without a win against the New England Patriots, and that fucking sucks. That sucks. (sighs) Burns. Burns. But I'm not ready to give up on this team. This is a young team. And we'll be back next week. We'll be back. Got a lot to build on. A lot to, man, a lot to digest after this one. This was a bad loss. But I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the Bills game. Two and one. If I told you two and one after three weeks at the beginning of the season, I think you'd be happy with that. And we can't, we can't blow a loss out of proportion any more than we didn't want to blow the win out of proportion last week in week two. Got to keep it a little even keel here at the beginning of the season. This team is still finding its identity and trying to figure out who they are. Young team, two and one, exactly where I had it projected thus far, but I'm I'm not going to sweep it under the rug, man. Today was a bad loss and a bad look on a nationally televised game, and that fucking sucks. That sucks. I do appreciate the garbage time touchdown, though, at the end with the double dip from uh, Carter Renfro. I helped up my fantasy team. And one last thing, man. If you're a professional athlete, yeah, you're, you're playing on the biggest stage, the pinnacle of your career, of your job, of your career field. You're playing at the pit. You're making big money, man. You're balling. You're driving fat cars. You got fucking fat watches. You're blinging everywhere. You're even wearing gold chains on the fucking field. Come on, man. Don't be buying your hair products at fucking goddamn Spirit Halloween stores. Shit bleeding all over your fucking goddamn jersey. That's a fucking that's sacrilege, man. Damon Arnett. Don't be, get your shit correct, man. You need to go get that shit handled properly by some professional. I don't know where you're getting that shit, but you can't be bleeding all over your jersey, man. That's the Bush League shit. Bush League. We got it. We got a lot to digest and get in all week, man. We'll get into that. I'm out of here. God damn, what a terrible loss today. Bad loss. I'm out. Peace, love. Radiation.